I think there's more to it than, than, it, than what it's been portrayed by religious people. Now, why would we do this? Why would we want to simplify this most, the most important issue in life? Living forever, salvation. Why would we oversimplify it? Well, I think there's a number of reasons. Number one, we, we fear knowing what God re really requires of us. In a way, we're playing the ignorant game. We don't really want to know what God requires of us, do we? And so we like to just play dumb, you know. And um, I remember one time I was talking to some guy about the Sabbath day, and he, his response was, well, who, time's been lost, you know. Well, how can you know which day is the Sabbath? Time's been lost. As if in history, and there came a point where, you know, it all happened, you know. Hey, do you know what day it is? No, I don't know what day it is. Uh, do you know what day? No, I don't know. You go to Walmart. You know, does anybody, uh, attention Walmart shoppers, does anybody know what day it is? No one knows. You call the President of the United States. No one knows what day it is. Well, of course not. Time has not been lost. There's always been that weekly cycle of every seventh day. Oh, you can lose sight of time for a few minutes, but you ask somebody else, they'll tell you what time it is or what day it is. But he wanted to play the ignorant game, you know. And a lot of people do that. We fear knowing what God requires of us. And so we want to simplify this issue of salvation. Number two, we are spiritually lazy as people. Spiritually lazy. We just, you know, we just, anything that involves any effort, we don't want it. Uh, we lay, here, here's another reason, important one. We love staying in our comfort zone. Oh, yeah. I mean, we will kill to stay in our comfort zone. We just love it, you know. And so people oversimplify this issue of salvation. Now, I'm going to go through some questions here about salvation. Is it possible to be saved without faith? Okay, let's ask this question. Is it possible to have salvation without faith? Let's look at Hebrews 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So is it possible to have salvation without faith? I don't think so. You know, well, I'm saved, but I'm not interested in, doing, in pleasing God. You know, that sums up most people's religion. I mean, that's, that's, it really does. Most people are not interested in pleasing God. I can guarantee you that. You know, but I'm, I want to be saved, though. I I confessed that Jesus was Lord, you know, I raised my hand, I'm saved. So is it possible to be saved without faith? No, it's not. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.